Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about Fourier transform. As we know, many practical signals are non periodic. Examples are pulse signals, noise signals. Under certain conditions, it can be shown that a non periodic function, I mean, function of t, can be expressed not as a sum of sine and cosine waves but as an integral. And this idea it gives rise to the Fourier transform. And it is our discussions here. So our target is to calculate a Fourier transform. So the Fourier transform of a function ft, it is a function of a new variable. We can see here new variable omega. And this new variable omega, we can see here in this formula, function of new variable, here I have written like that, and this is Fourier transform of this function of ft. If we look like that, if this is the one, then this can be defined as this minus infinity to infinity function of t e to the power minus j omega t with this exponential form and with respect to t. When a Fourier transform is calculated, the result is a complex function. So we will see that complex functions in the example what we are taking here, these examples, find the Fourier transform of the functions defined by this, t less than 1, greater than 1. So we will apply the formula, I mean this formula, to find the Fourier transform. How it is? Here also we need to note that in this example, function of t, it is defined to be 0 outside the intervals t less than 1, greater than 1. So the integral reduces to this one. Minus 1 to 1 and this function of t, these two we are putting here 2. And this will be as it is then dt. So integral reduces to this. Now in next slide to see how to handle this. So here this we wrote here like that it is same thing only the thing if we do integrations of this then 2 and doing integration it will be as it is only this part will be in the down according to integrations rules and there will be upper limit and lower limit value we have to put here so it takes this form so one rearranging will do here this positive one, exponential positive, this one will bring at the beginning and then we will put this one. 
the reason is our target is to get this term as a Euler's relations to satisfy Euler's relation. That's why we are putting here how it is. So 2 we take common out. This is omega out and this j is in and here we are putting 1, 2 as it is additional so we will minimize this by 2 here also 2 to cancel so it will be same thing but we need this format to get Euler's relation so let's see in the next slide As I told, ruler's relation is this. So easily this part we can write as sin omega. And this omega will be here. And 2 by 2 it will be 4. This term, it is Fourier transform. This term, Fourier transform. And if we want to make the graph for this, how it looks? It is a sine function. So sine omega by omega, it is a sine function. And by seeing the graph, this is looks also sine function. Here our target is to get or to concentrate on frequency domain representations of a non-periodic functions. So what we will do here, as we know under certain conditions a non-periodic function, function of t can be expressed in this form. Here, this function of omega, it is Fourier transform, this part. Fourier transform of function of t. This one. Already in previous slide, we know sine omega by omega multiplied by 4. That was the Fourier transform. And such a representations, it is called Fourier integral representations. In our previous examples, the pulse function, it was shown to have Fourier transform like this. Already we have seen this in previous slide. This was the Fourier transform. And it was a pulse function. And we can bring that graph, what we had, it was a sine functions. So now this Fourier transform, if we replace here, F omega is the Fourier transform of FT. So if we replace this position by this Fourier transform, so Fourier integral representation of the pulse it becomes as this. So that was our target to get this. So Fourier integral representation of the pulse is this one. That's all for today. And thanks for watching.